Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. In this video I'm going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about the application process for music universities in Germany. The first question is, I'm not sure where to apply, can you help me? I did already a video about how to choose the right university for you. I will link it in the description. The second question. I'm not sure if my niveau is good enough to apply. What should I do? Um, I can recommend to look on the website of the university where you want to apply and they always have their repertoire suggestions and just compare their repertoire suggestions to your repertoire. And if you're quite unsure, you can always send some professors um, videos of you and ask them if you have a chance or not. Some will reply, some may not. And this always depends on the teacher. Is there a general dateline for the applications? There is no general dateline. Every university has their own dateline in Germany. Is the application fee refundable? No, normally not, even if you are not taking part in the audition anymore. But I know one situation where the university put out applications, but in the end there was no audition possible. And in this situation the university sent back the money, but otherwise it's not refundable. What should I wear for my audition? I would recommend an outfit in which you feel good and comfortable. It doesn't have to be very formal and it doesn't have to be completely black, but it does have to show that you have respect for the audition and clothes shouldn't be normally have an influence on the um, decision, but clothes also make an impression of yourself and of course you don't want a negative impression. Do I need to speak German in the entrance exam? This depends on the university. There are some universities that are asking for a German test or a certificate, but normally in the actual exam where you have to play, you can speak English. Um, I never heard of somebody who, were, who was not allowed to speak their English. And in some auditions, they are testing your German level after you played, but that's normally only if you apply for the junior department, that they just get an impression of your language skills that you have already, because in the junior department, there's normally no language course included, I think. And in most of the bachelor studies, you can um, add a German course. Do I have to bring extra copies of my scores? If it's not written on the website, you don't have to. Normally the professors know the music already, um, but I can recommend that you bring a copy of your scores without any of your markings with you, just in case if they want to have the score that you have something prepared um, and without all of your markings, because sometimes that can give a wrong impression. Um, but not always. Is it possible to get feedback after my audition? And this also depends on the university and the teachers. Some teachers are already giving feedback in the personal conversation. Um, and if there is none, um, you can ask the professor after your audition. Um, but for some instruments, there are so many contestants that the professors are not able to give feedback to every contestant. And if you are really interested in the feedback of one particular professor, I would recommend to email them and ask for feedback. Some are really happy to do that, um, but some usually don't have time to do it. Is it possible to repeat the entrance exam? Yes, it is possible and um, normally at any university in Germany it's possible twice and some universities are always so saying that you can do it three times but it also depends on which university. I hope this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any further videos and I see you in my next video. Bye!